Hello everyone, welcome back to PowerShell for Pen Testers. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you a little bit about PowerShell download cradles and ways that we can utilize PowerShell's built-in functionality to download files or load them into memory. We're gonna do this through a demonstration uh, by renaming our Workstation 01 to Workstation 01 within the domain. And you'll see here we are already in the GitHub directory or repo, and we have the file namegen.ps1. If we click on this, we get another repo page and it shows the contents of uh, the repository here. And what we really need though is to be able to load this into memory or to just simply download it to disk. And GitHub has a really neat functionality that allows raw.githubusercontent.com to download uh, files in a raw format rather than in the repo format as you can see here. So we can use uh, wget within PowerShell, which is pretty much similar to wget in Linux, or we can use uh, some uh, functionality to download into memory so that we're not downloading something to disk and we're really not gonna worry about the repercussions of that too much in the course. But know that anytime you download something to disk, uh, it can be easier to be picked up by antivirus. It leaves you know evidence behind. In a, in a pen test, it leaves something for you to clean up when you're done. So anytime you can try to load something into memory rather than download it directly to the file uh, is going to be a better option in my opinion. So um, looking here, we have namegen0 or namegen.ps1, and we need to try to get this file to workstation01. So what we can do is we can load PowerShell. And we're just going to, uh, we need to run as administrator. So let's go ahead and do PowerShell and then run as, an, oops, we don't want that one. We want PowerShell, we'll try this again and run as administrator and click yes. And I'm gonna increase my size here a little bit so people on mobile aren't gonna be complaining at me in the comments. Although if you're looking at this on mobile, I really recommend you doing it in a browser. And now what we need to do is we can copy this link and if we come to PowerShell, let's just CD to our desktop. So if we're on s.chisholm, which you should be logged into on Workstation 01, we'll go users, uh, s.chisholm, and we want the domain user, and then we'll just go to our desktop. And if we do wget and we paste, then we do o or out file here, and then we just do namegen.ps1. If we type dir now, you can see that namegen.ps1 has downloaded, which is great. And if we wanted to run this, we could. It's a PowerShell file that we can import into PowerShell and then execute. Alternatively, we can use a different module to download this directly to memory and then execute it uh, without having to import it separately. So what we're gonna do is we're going to import it into the memory on the machine essentially. So the way we do this is with a download cradle uh, by IEX and then new object net.webclient then download string and then in parentheses we're going to put single quotes and we can paste that link as you can see here and then we're going to close that with parentheses and capitals matter here keep that in mind you have to have your capitalization correct if you do not it will not download it let's go ahead and hit enter and you'll see that nothing happened, right? But we should be able to run execute script now, which execute script is what we're going to use. As you can see over here, execute script is the name of the function that will rename our uh, workstation. So now let's go ahead and put dash and we'll put computer name because that's the name of the parameter. And we're gonna put workstation 01 and hit enter. And then we enter that fallout boy password and this will rename our computer and it creates a share as well. And then it's all set. And that's how we use our download cradle, right? So for everything we do in the course, we're not going to download PowerView or any other script to disk. We're going to invoke it into memory or import it into memory. One thing to keep in mind from here on out, make sure that you're disabling Win Windows Defender antivirus uh, because it will pick up these scripts and it will break things. So. Um, this isn't going to be an AV evasion course. Again, this is a basic PowerShell course, so make sure that you're disabling antivirus throughout. Uh, and anytime you restart your machine, you're going to have to do that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if something isn't working, check your Defender first. But hopefully you've learned something here briefly about um, 
PowerShell download cradles. I want you to go through this exercise that we just did and rename your workstation 01 to workstation 01. Uh, and let me know in the comments how you did. Uh, and I will see you over in the next video when we start talking about how we can use PowerView to enumerate users and groups. Until then, thanks for joining.